Hey all, Russ here, RV TV, welcome. Check it out! Out here at Roadrunner BLM Dispersed Camp Area. Bureau of Land Management. Free! I spent the night out here. We got uh, some storm clouds moving in. The weather's going to be changing on me. Anyway, a couple days before Christmas here. I'm going to be heading north. But check out these cactus. Oh my goodness, these things are towering. Absolutely huge. Look at those things. Cacti, I guess. More than one is cacti. <laughs> they are huge. These are growing wild, too. Right in this little wash, they're getting water. So they get a pretty good drink when you get the heavy rains. Kind of beat up looking, huh? But those are all, according to those charts, when they get this big, oh my goodness. Easily over a hundred years. Anyway, I thought I'd come out here, see how many people's out here, and there's not hardly anyone. You know, this camp area here called Roadrunner, it, it's where the Quartzite's uh, Quartz Fest. It's where all the ham radio uh, operators come out here in uh, Boondock. You know, last year, because of the pandemic, a bunch of this stuff got uh, canceled. But right here is where they have their meetings and stuff. Their big fire pits right here. Quartz Vest. It'll probably go again this year. It's amazing. They have all their big antennas set up and everything. But it is peaceful out here right now. The calm before the storm. The calm before all the people show up. But look at all them white dots out there. See, those are the long-term visitor areas. That's where you can camp for six months. Look at all them dots. It's full of trailers. We'll check that on our way back into town. I need to stop by the game store. But we're going to head north. Going to head up towards Lake Havasu. There's 95. That'll take you down to Yuma. You can really see the pipeline road. There's a gas, natural gas pipeline that runs through this area. Dirt road follows the whole thing. But right here, this is Roadrunner. Uh, this is actually La Paz Valley Road right there. It'll take you back to La Paz Valley. There ain't too many out here yet, but it will be. Truthfully, this is probably my favorite dispersed area. Either this one or Plumosa. There's La Paz Valley straight out. They got a couple RV parks out there too. And you can see all the trails. This is where you camp. 14 days for free. One of them. Time to go. Yeah, I came out here late last night, spent the night. It's nice and comfy in the van. Big moon last night, too. It was beautiful. That kind of lights up the desert floor at night when you got a big moon. Okay, here we go. We're actually about, I guess, about eight miles out of town to the south. Clock is really ticking on the end of the year here fast. Right in here, there's two of the LTVAs. These two are the farthest out. Right here is La Posa South. And there's quite a few rigs, but this thing will really get packed up here in January. 
This is the only one where they got the sewer dumps in the water. That's why everyone likes this area. And it goes way, way out. It's dozens of square miles. I don't know how big it is, but it goes way out there. Then on this side is called Tyson Wash, LTVA. There's see quite a few rigs, but once again, it don't fill up like uh, La Posa South. Okay, let's keep trucking. Out of the four long terms, now you pay, this is $180 for six months. Then if you only want a couple weeks, they charge, I think, $40 or $45 for 14 days. But once again, you have access. They got vaulted toilets. They got uh, water, sewer dump access, dumpsters. You can dump your trash. So it's well worth it. It's cheap. A lot of people will stay out there the whole, whole time. All six months, this is where you boondock. And you're super close to town. You can go and get your propane and all that kind of stuff, groceries. But of all four, Tyson Wash should be act, the actual one I'd stay at. It's the least busiest, farthest out. Then right here off to the left, this is uh, La Posa West. You can see there's quite a few rigs. You're nestled up right to the mountains there. That's where all the mine, the old abandoned mines are, mine shafts. You can go up and explore them. ATVs, uh, trails everywhere out here. They got dumpsters and whatnot. And look at that lot straight ahead. That's the big tent lot. That's how close you are. You can just walk to it. You don't have to drive from your camp. That's why these are popular. Then on this side, it's called La Posa North. Same thing, super close to town. You can actually walk into the showgrounds. Real easy access, they got big dumpsters out there. So there's your four. That's a pretty good look for December. You know, a lot of people when they're traveling in the rigs this time of year, they stop and see family before they head to court site. So this is kind of a slow week, the week right before Christmas for uh, travelers. Always seem to have been in the past. The calm before the storm. <laughs> look at that big tent, they got their sign up. Court site RV show. Oh, look, they got RVs sitting there. We're gonna have to stop and film them. They just brought in a bunch of motor homes. That's that RV country. I forget the name of the outfit. We'll, we'll check that out later. And off left here, that's prospectors. I see vendors starting to set up in there. That's usually all rock guys. Rocks and beads and whatnot. All right, let's make a left here on Kieran. I got to stop the game store, then we're trucking out of here. Every day. More and more vendors. Yeah, look on the left. See, prospectors, they're getting open. That crystal guy here on the left. Arkansas Crystal, something like that. He's been coming here for years. They got the big stuff, too. The big heavy. You need a forklift to load it. <laughs> but it's definitely a busy time. All right, pulling the game store here. Just want to talk to Kim Scott before I hit the road. Over 3,000 games he has in that little building. <laughs> Look at that, he added a storage container outside to hold more. <laughs> We're always teasing him.
if you've never been here, you got to check this out. It, even if you don't get a game, just come inside. They're open 9 to 6 every day, 7 days a week. head north did a live stream in here a couple nights ago that was fun had a lot of people watching that if you had a chance check it out got to show some of the games that are perfect size for RVs clouds are rolling in So this year I thought I'd do something a little different. I'm going to spend the holiday up around uh, Lake Havasu instead of Quartzsite. Try to find some Christmas lights or something. Should be kind of cool. Alright, this is Central Avenue. We're going to head north. What's everyone doing for their holiday? Throw it down below in the comments. Be happy to read that stuff. It's always interesting to see where people end up. But there's no snow here, no white Christmas. <laughs> Unless you want to drive way up by Flagstaff. <laughs> Look at that, that big RV dealer. That lot's for sale. They are not coming back. That's kind of big. I mean, that's a huge lot. They they spent a fortune fixing that place up. That's where they offered the free pancake breakfast and everything. This little corner here on the right, they got vendors setting, setting up in there now. For years, that was an RV dealer lot. Things change every year. Well, maybe when we get up to Parker, we'll take a little different way up towards Havasu instead of the same old route all the time. We can cut to the other side of the river, maybe uh, head up Parker Dam Road. A little different scenery. It is a beautiful drive. Any time on that road's a very nice drive. Right up here on the left, good old Miners Depot, Blake and Lisa. Right across the bridge here, their sign got <laughs> blown away in a windstorm there, right there, that building on the left. They are going strong. They're going to be here through March. Be sure to check it out if you want to get any uh, gold mining equipment. Plus, if you want to join the gold club, 20 bucks, you got access to 400 acres of prospecting. You can dry wash on those, you can uh, metal detect, they got tournaments, all kinds of cool stuff. Quartzsite Gold Club, and you sign up right back there at Miner's Depot. It's only $20 a year, you can't beat it. Well, here we are, north end of town, that's it. So long, Quartzsite. Merry Christmas, Quartzsite. We'll see you next week, right before New Year's. Going to be back down next week. All right, off to Lake Havasu we go. Journey continues. Talk soon.